Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Mukesh and today we are going to discussing about our next topic with a simple one. Okay, it's a selecting visible elements in a playwright Python. What exactly the visible elements in a application? Okay, basically when the developer is developing, there are there are some set of CSS selectors. Okay, CSS like cascading of sheet uh, styles. Okay. There is CSS one is there. There is basically a style. They can able to make it for display none. Display none. If they mention display none means that particular web elements not visible to anyone. Okay. For understanding purpose, you can able to see any other application because I'm not able to find which is hidden fields like I'm not able to see that hidden fields. I'm not able to develop some new application to showcasing for you. Okay. But uh, because I'm not able to get the sometime because my health is disturbed and that last video only that after long back I uploaded. Okay. And due to that, I'm not able to get the much time to show you what exactly this hiding uh, elements. Okay. Please understand the flow. Okay. If I you can imagination. Okay. This is your application. Okay. In this application, developer is developed. There are two buttons. Button one and button two. Okay. There are two buttons that he developed. But in the future, what has happened? Some requirement changes. Button one, they want to disable. Okay. But they don't want to delete. They don't want to delete that entire button code. But they want for that should not be visible into the users. But that button should be presented in application, but it should not be visible into clients or users. Then what they can able to do, right? The simple they can able to make it for style equal to display none for that particular button. Then once they made it, what will happen? This particular button will be disappear. This particular button will be disappear. Like only one button will be presented that moment the second first button will be disabled means it will not be visible into any other member this particular button will be visible into you okay then what we can able to do it in this case i want to find a web application and there what all the web elements are visible into the users those things i want to see how we can able to identify for this i'm going to take for amazon application okay because we have so many hyperlinks images everything it is presented if you inspect any other location okay and you can able to identify a and you can able to see the xpath i'm going to make it xpath 441 and there 441 we are not having all the things are it is not presented okay it is not presented for all the things because we have some of the things are presented inside the dev there is a a tag that also it will display okay some of the fields are hidden fields that also it will display for in our case we want to identify which is related to visible true this is the one we need to identify how many it is there i want to count it first okay i'm going to use it this particular xpath okay in this particular xpath i can able to identify by using our page now i'm going to use for locator in that locator i'm going to pass this one and i'm going to use for there is a count method okay there is a count method that i'm going to use it what will happen this count will return count how many presented in a application i'm going to use for anchor tag a okay for this it will display for the count completely right and we need to print into a console i'm going to print for a complete information into console you can able to see the count will be displayed inside a you can see 356 hyperlinks are visible right now Okay, I want to print this all the things into our location, how we can able to identify and how we can able to print it. Now we are able to identify how many it is there. 
but we need to print all the things then how means we can able to say the same path i'm going to take it up to the count before count okay now i'm going to make it for one more thing there is a our method there is a one method is there all inner text inner text all all text contains these are the two functions will return for all the text which is the text that is present here for that particular links it will give for list of values list of values for our case we can able to because we are using for hyperlinks we can able to use for inner text it is a good option okay even you can able to use for text contains it is also providing for the same information there is no different that okay you can able to use for all text contains okay and then in my case i'm going to use for this one but you can try that also in case if you are facing something issue you can comment in that my video i'll try to help you to the solving your problem okay i'll try to give you some uh, tips to solve okay not going to connect with you but i'm going to give you some tips i'll provide when the based upon that you can try it okay or else i'll provide for the you in your comment only some other code by using all text containers okay and here we are done for getting for all the text formats values okay now i want to print then what we can able to because the list we can't directly print right we need to print for one by one then what we can able to do for loop for loop a link and i'm going to use for in and their list of anchor values then i'm going to use for print statement al okay once you print this one what will happen it will print for one by one all the values what are the values it is getting right those all the values some of the places you will see for some uh, values not presented okay now as you can see all the values are displayed okay this is a for this is the way we can able to identify and we can able to click uh, get the text from visible text elements and we can able to click it or something if you want to click you can able to use the click contains and if you want some other options you can able to use that also okay this is all about for clicking selecting for a visible text elements what all the elements are visible right those are all the things getting by using playwright python okay i hope you understand this one please like my video please subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to share your friends and colleagues Thank you.